Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to replace the valve stems that come with your basic Chinese scooter. Let's take a little closer look just to see what these are. They look perfect. No problems. Look at all the cracks. This is a 2008 scooter. This is less than six months old and it has about 50 miles on it. These valve stems are shot. These are some of the tools that we're going to use to replace this valve stem. A couple of C-clamps, a regular flathead screwdriver, a pair of medium-sized vice grips, and this is the valve stem that we're going to replace this one with. The first thing that we're going to do is to remove the Schrader core so the air comes out of the tire. Now the tire is deflated. After we've positioned the tire into a convenient location to remove the stem, with the help of my lovely assistant, we're going to seal the back brake shut to keep the back tire from moving. <laughs> now that the back brake is locked and secure, we can go around and get ready for the actual removal of the valve stem. Now you see where we position the clamp approximately two inches away from the actual valve stem. On the other side there's a rag just to make sure that we don't scratch the rims. Now we're going to tighten the actual assembly. Notice how the tire is actually shrinking and getting smaller. Move the clamp to the side and we're starting to get ready to see the actual valve stem. Now we have a clear shot of the actual valve stem. It only took maybe about 30 seconds to actually clamp the tire shut to get to this point. Now we take our vice grips, grab the old stem, and pull it out. Here's part of the new stem that we're putting in. Push it as far as it can go and then this is what we're going to do. We're going to take the cap, let's screw it onto the valve stem. Be sure not to push it back into the tire as it's not too secure right now. Once you have a firm grip, we're going to take the vice grips and we're going to pull it out. Here's the vice grips on the valve cap. Don't grab the stem, just the valve cap. Nice and seated. Now we put the chrome extender back on and we have a perfectly good valve stem. All we have to do now is just unloosen the tire, adjust the bead a little bit and fill it up with air. Okay we sprayed the tire down after we filled it up with just a regular spray maker full of dishwashing soap and water. Have not found any leaks. We have our brand new perfectly good valve stem in less than 10 minutes. Oh yeah, almost forgot. We definitely have to take care of this. Slacking loafer that's not helping.